So I, today I was thinking about the mindset of vegans. I often like to put myself in their shoes and just like imagine because it's very hard for me to imagine really doing that to yourself, really depriving yourself of all the nutrients that your body actually needs for the sake of animals. And, and I can really appreciate the perspective of loving animals. We have five dogs. I love animals. I want them to live a happy life and that's very important to me. But at the end of the day, we're created to eat meat and we need food and we are designed and designated by God to eat meat. So anyways, I was putting myself in their shoes and just channeling their perspective. And what I thought was interesting is that there are so many people who are unwilling to eat animals because it involves the death of an animal or murder of an animal, but they're comfortable with the murder of humans. They're comfortable with abortion. And so, you know, someone would say, well, that's not the same thing. And this is all just a thought process going on while I was driving today. Someone would say, well, you know, it's a, it's a woman's choice thing. You know, if, if, you're, if a, pr a woman is pregnant, it's really about what she wants, you know, whether or not she wants to keep the child. But then I thought, okay, well, what if a stray animal just ended up on your doorstep and you didn't volunteer to have that animal or, or even, you know, let's take it further. What if someone forced that animal on you? What if someone said, watch my dog for a week, I'll be, I'll be back in a week, and then they never came back. So they just forced that animal on you. It was never your decision, and it was never something you wanted. Would it be okay to murder the dog? No. I mean, I just, I, what I can't understand is how people still think it's okay to murder babies, to murder humans, or to take that life. But our world is in such this, this brainwashed state of, oh, let's stop murdering animals and let's eat plants and ultimately not take care of our health. So anyways, that's just something that struck me today and I wanted to make a video. I've made another video about pro-life and it's hitting me again. Like, we're just so brainwashed. It's very, very sad. So I just wanted to leave this here. If you know a vegan who struggles to murder animals but doesn't struggle with abortion, this might be a good point to bring up. It's like we're totally prioritizing animals over humans in so many different aspects. So anyways, this is just a short little blip, a little ramble from the depth of my heart because it makes me so sad to... The abortion makes me so sad. And also the veganism makes me so sad. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, especially through this holiday season as you're socializing and maybe meeting new people, to show them love and understanding and kindness, but also show them truth. If someone challenges me about veganism or abortion and wants to talk about that, I am more than happy to share my opinion and share what I just shared with you guys. And I just want to encourage you to be bold because we need people to think critically and to think with morals again. That's it.